let's say we have 50 millimeters and we want to convert that to inches. How can we do that? How many inches is equivalent to 50 millimeters? In order to do this, we need to be familiar with the conversion factors that will help us to get there. What I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to convert millimeters to centimeters first, and then from centimeters, I'm going to go directly to inches. Now, the first conversion factor that we need to know to take us from millimeters to centimeters is this. One centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. That's the first conversion factor we need to be familiar with. Now for the second step, to go from centimeters to inches, we need to know that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. So with these two conversion factors, we can go from millimeters to inches. So let's use the first one. Let's convert millimeters to centimeters. Notice that we have millimeters on top, so I'm going to put the same unit on the bottom here. So I'm going to place 10 millimeters on the bottom. The other part of the conversion factor, that's going to go on top of the second fraction. So now we could cancel out the unit millimeters. For the second conversion factor, we're going to use this. Now, since I have centimeters on the top, I'm going to put this part of the conversion factor on the bottom of the third fraction. What remains is going to go on top. So now we could cross out the unit centimeters. Now, in order to perform this operation, we're going to multiply by the numbers on top of the fractions and divide by any numbers on the bottom. So we're going to take 50 and then we're going to divide it by 10 and then that result we're going to divide it by 2.54. 50 divided by 10 is 5. 5 divided by 2.54 is 1.9685. So we can say that 50 millimeters is approximately 1.97 inches if we round it. So that's how you can convert from millimeters to inches. By the way, for those of you who want more example problems on how to convert units, especially square units and cubic units, I'm going to post some videos in the description section below, and you can access those example problems for those of you who are interested. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance, and thanks for watching.